Well, welcome to Archie's Acres here in Valley Center, a very special farm that is going to blow your mind when you find out all about it. And here to tell us about it is Colin, who started it all, basically. Started right here. Yeah. You built this greenhouse. I did. I should say my <laughs> wife's been a big part of this whole thing as well. But uh, this small greenhouse was our kind of first stab at uh, turning a, a hobby into a business. So Colin, tell me a little bit about what this farm has done for your employees and what it offers them. Well, hopefully it's given a, a place where they enjoy to be. Um, most of our employees are uh, either vets or spouse members of service members. Okay. Um, and so with our, our the training program they put together at Cal Poly, we run through an agricultural incubator for six weeks and then we try to connect them with employment after the fact and when we have positions here available, uh, you know, we, we love to fill that with the, the graduates from that program. And we're at the newest greenhouse here at Archie's Acres. And Colin, tell me about, these were just transplanted? Yeah, this past uh, few days ago. So okay. we start all our seeds in trays and grow small plugs. And then we transplant them in these, uh, these irrigation pipes here. And they all move? Yeah, the tables are rollers so we can move them in and out of the tables freely and reduce uh, walking space. And how long does it take them to grow? You know, this time of year, it takes about three weeks until you can harvest. Oh, okay. It's pretty quick uh, with, with the added heat and stuff. So in wintertime, it slows down a little bit, uh -huh. but we're still talking about four to five weeks. And then it's the magic of TV. Ta-da, they're grown. Yeah, and then, so this is the product that we're harvesting uh, today, in fact. And so this is actually typically larger than when we typically harvest it, but it's still a great product. Thomas Jefferson, when his vision of America was something that looked like a quilt, and each square on the, on the quilt was a is a small farm and a small business. Um, and we like to see that uh, stay true to today. So in addition to the greenhouse basil, they also do other crops like eggplant here. And to tell us about it is Karen, who's Colin's wife. And a big Hi. part of this whole Thank you. deal here at Archie's Acres. So tell me about the eggplant. So we're growing this in a Dutch bucket system, which is cocoa choir. Oh. And so instead of soil, we're actually using a, a byproduct of the coconut industry. Huh. And what it does is it holds the water next to the root, but you oh. never get root rot. Ah. So we water these, I'm going to say it's for 20 minutes two times a day, twice a week. So very water efficient. Very water efficient, and it has amazing production. So this is one of the original avocado trees that was here when you first bought the property, right, Colin? What's left of it, yeah. What's left of it, yeah. So tell us what's going on with this. Well, since we've moved here, the cost of water has grown over 100% in the last 10, 11 years. Wow. Um, and so at the time, if you had some small acreage out here in Valley Center-like area, almost always had avocados on it. Yeah. These trees are what got us into the business because we really loved uh, just working with the trees. We we're really gonna miss them, but just with the cost of water, the limited amount of acreage that we had, um, it just didn't make much sense for us to do it anymore. So when it comes to water here in San Diego County, what, what are we talking about in, as far as cost and compared to other counties, I should say? Well, and, and, and in San Diego County, there's there's discrepancy in cost based on the water district you're in. But oh, out right. here in Valley Center Water District, uh, we pay about $2,200 per acre foot of water. Now in comparison, wow. out in uh, Imperial Valley, for instance, they pay something like $20 an acre foot. Other parts in California, maybe less than $10 an acre foot. You're kidding me. So we pay a lot of money for water. step of the process here at Archie's Acres. So tell me what we see behind us, Karen. So this is our packing. This okay. is the final step before it transports to the store. So Karen, what are they looking for here? So they're looking to make sure that the that the actual stem is intact with its leaves. Okay. And that the basil looks perfect when it goes in the box. Because even though it's organic and organic has its flaws, but but we do our best to make it look really, you know, tasty and sensational in that box. So John, tell me about your story of how you came to Archie's Acres. I uh, saw the VSAT course online uh -huh. uh, and did some investigation and found out it was started by uh, a Marine who we served together in Iraq. That and, was that? Uh, I thought that, took that as like, uh, yeah, I need to go find out more about this place. Oh, yeah. And, uh, that's how it all started. And what does that mean to you to really change people's lives? It's worth getting up every day 
And I'm gonna tell you, I know my husband always says, if you can even change one person's life, then it makes a difference. Yeah. But we've changed many. What do you enjoy most about this? What do you think this offers you as an individual working here? As an individual working here? Um, well, one, happiness. Like, I love working here. Um, I've had a lot of jobs that I didn't particularly like, yeah. and, you know, even when you make a lot of money and you go home at the end of the day just miserable, you know, and yeah. it's not worth it to me, so, no. um, happiness, uh, peace of mind when I come here, it's just you're free. Um, it's outside and physical labor, and I'm a hands-on kind of guy, mm -hmm. so I like getting in the dirt, getting in the soil, mm -hmm. um, so it's, it's, it's a lot of fun. Well, I just want to thank you both for having us here. Thank We've had a great you. day learning all about what you've done, what you're doing, this amazing farm, and I just want to thank you for having us. Thank you so much. Thank Thanks you, for Colin. being here.